Kia ora year ones. Today I've got a new writing provocation for you and this photo is called The Discovery. While you're looking at the photo I want you to listen to my story starter. The children got off the bus and stood huddled together. It was a cold foggy day and so the children wrapped up in their coats and scarves shivered as they waited. Their teacher called them closer and as one, they walked cautiously towards the skeleton. They were very excited. Were they on the verge of making a terrific discovery? Have a little think about that story starter while you're looking at this photo and see if you can come up with some ideas that you think would make a good story. When we look at this photo, what do we see? Perhaps you could make a list of the things you can see or you may like to draw pictures of these different things. What things do you remember from my story starter? These are the different things I can see in the photo, as well as things I pictured from listening to the story starter. Snow-covered mountains, skeleton bones, perhaps dinosaur ones, a school bus, some school children. Were these the things that you thought of as well? Now, using the words that you thought of and your yellow word card, can you write a simple sentence? You may even like to write a joining sentence using the word and or because. Use your word card to help you with the sounds in the tricky words. Can you locate the key words on your word card that you want to use in your sentence? Have a look at those boxes down the bottom. Those are all your key words, remember? Make sure that you remember all the things that a simple sentence should include, like capital letter at the beginning of the sentence, finger spaces in between your words, a full stop at the end of the sentence, reading it back to make sure that it makes sense, and listening for those beginning, middle and end sounds in the tricky words. Now, let's try our sentence for the discovery photo and story starter. I'm going to start my sentence with these two key words today. I am. Here is the photo again to help you with the rest of the sentence. Take your time to have another look at it. These are my sentences. The first one, I am feeling very excited as I get off the school bus. My second sentence says, I am on a school trip to the mountains. And my third sentence says, I am feeling nervous and excited because we have found dinosaur skeleton bones. I have thought of three sentences today using the photo and the story starter as my inspiration. What sentence or sentences have you thought of writing? Did you check your writing today? In room eight, we make sure we say our sentence out loud three times before we write it. Then when we have finished, we read it back to check that it makes sense. Don't forget to point to the words as you read it back, just like you would do when you were reading a reader book to your mum or dad. Did you remember all the things that a sentence needs? Did you listen for sounds in the words, beginning, middle, end sounds? Your yellow word card would have helped you do this. I hope you all had fun giving this writing task a go. Remember, it's all about trying your best. Even if you just write the first two keywords and try to sound out the first letter of your tricky words, you should be proud. Something we do in room eight is to put a little piece of blue tack next to the keywords we are going to be using in our sentence before we write it. You might like to do that as well. You are the author of your stories. Read them to others so that they can enjoy them just as much as you enjoy listening to stories being read to you. I really love this little poem by Dr. Seuss. It says, the more that you read, the more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you'll go. I really hope you had fun with this writing provocation.
See you again next time. Ka kite.